Cassandra was the daughter and the only daughter of a celebrated milliner in Bond Street. When Cassandra had attained her 16th year, she was lovely and amiable, and chancing to fall in love with an elegant bonnet, she placed it on her gentle head and walked out of her mother's shop to make her fortune. The first person she met was a Viscount, a young man no less celebrated for his accomplishments and virtue than for his elegance and beauty. She curtsied and walked on. She then proceeded to the pastry shop, where she devoured six cream buns, refused to pay, knocked down the pastry cook and walked away. She next ascended a hackney cab and ordered it to Hampstead, where she was no sooner arrived than she ordered it to turn around and drive her back again. The coachman demanded his fare. She searched her pockets again and again, but every search was unsuccessful. The man grew peremptory. She placed her bonnet on his head and ran away. Through many a street she then proceeded, yet met in none the least adventure, until on turning a corner of Bloomsbury Square she met Maria. They trembled, blushed, turned pale, and passed each other in mutual silence. A quarter of a mile brought her back to Bond Street, from whence she had now been absent for nearly seven hours. She entered her mother's shop and was pressed to the bosom of that worthy woman, Cassandra smiled and whispered to herself, that was a day well spent.